33 here in Orlando, the Islamic State glorifying the Orlando killer, calling Omar Mateen a soldier of the caliphate in America and calling for more attacks here on the homeland. In fact, they put out a note on May 21st, three and a half weeks ago, calling for attacks in Europe and the United States, and it has happened here again. The FBI knew about him, ultimately deciding he was not a threat. Senator Ron Johnson, last hour, Republican on the Homeland Security Committee in the Senate, telling us there are clear problems with trying to identify potential terrorists. He obviously went through some relatively extensive background checks. Nothing showed up. How do you deal with people who do not show their, their radicalization? Uh, in terms of surveillance, they, they really haven't uh, really demonstrated anything that rises to a level of, of detaining or, or charging with a crime. Uh, it's an enormously difficult problem. Ambassador James Woolsey served as director of the CIA, is now chairman of the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, and welcome back to America's Newsroom, sir. I have many questions for you. Let's see what we can figure out together. Boston, Sarnaya Brothers, they were on the radar, and they got through. Fort Hood, Major Nadal Hassan, he got through as well. Shuffled around the Army for years, and everybody knew he was a problem. Getting ready to deploy to Afghanistan, opens a fire on the, on the, uh, the post in Fort Hood. Uh, this guy, he was known to the FBI for several years. The system we have in place, sir, is it worthless? It's not worthless, but it's not uh, geared to stopping uh, terrorists before they act when they don't uh, give absolutely uh, clear-cut signals to that effect. Uh, our system doesn't work in such a way that we can arrest someone for being a problem. Uh, they have to have committed a crime. And uh, uh, we are not on, in the mode and have not been in the mode really uh, for the last seven and a half years of fighting a major war against Islamist terrorist uh, groups. Uh, we are... Uh, and so long around. as that is the case, sir, so long as that's the case that we're not on offense, what's the effect of that? It's Syria, it's Iraq, it's Afghanistan again, it's Libya to come next. And you have but, to think that President Obama's thought is, is, is the following. He, he did not want to go to war. He got us out of Iraq and Afghanistan. And now look how far behind we are. But you can it's always stay out of a war. If you can always stay out of a war if you don't mind losing, uh, and uh, he has not led us to fight. Uh, we are at at war, or at least they are at war with us, and they are theocratic, totalitarian, genocidal imperialists. And each of those words, I think, is accurate. It's not just expletives, and that means we have to fight them in a way the way we fought the Nazis in World War II. Uh, we have to get mobilized, we have to get organized, uh, we have to have a public, great public-private partnership to deal with uh, uh, communications and, and the way that, uh, that uh, 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 our systems of uh, social media and so forth work. Uh, we can't just keep fiddling around, and, and uh, the president has been fiddling around for seven and a half years. It has been seven months since Paris, and reporting live from that city that was in such massive grief on November 14, 15, 16, the days after that. President Obama was in Western Turkey, and he held that press conference. You remember the questions from the White House press corps was, uh, were the following. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to change? You're saying nothing's going to change, so we're on the right path. And the president basically said, these things are going to happen. We're going to have to live with it. I mean, that was the essence of his response. Right. So based on what he said yesterday afternoon, is he still in that same place um, I think so. mentally and in terms of strategy? I think so. He does not want to go to war with radical Islam. Uh, he And that's who is after us. And uh, we have so far uh, decided not to go, as a nation, not to go to war with them. We'll let them go to be at war with us, but not the other way around. Uh, I think it was Trotsky who was supposed to have said once that... Uh, you may not be interested in war, but war may be interested in you. And uh, that's the situation we're in.